Alright, what's up guys? This is Ginger Vitus here, and I got a game of uh, Team Deathmatch on Hanoi. In this game, I was uh, playing with one of my friends. I just met her uh, through Xbox Live. I did call her a little boy, not gonna lie. And uh, I made up for that, hopefully. We kind of talked it over. She explained to me that she actually did have the female oh, yeah. genitalia uh, originally, so uh, we played for a little while. Um, in this game, uh, decided to go with the uh, shotgun and uh, using the Spaz 12 with the silencer for some reason. The silencer is not actually a bad uh, attachment for it. It's just kind of different. It's got kind of a weird sound to it and everything like that. Uh, as you probably could tell from the beginning, my perks are Hardline, which I don't use a whole lot. I've got Steady Aim Pro and I got Ninja Pro. Uh, I'm using Nova Gas, which I think <laughs> I think I throw once. My Jammer, which I don't use, and uh, Semtex, which I almost used before. Now, the reason I'm using Steady Aim, Steady Aim uh, is pretty much essential for all the shotguns, except for the Olympia. Personally, for the Olympia, I'd rather use Sleight of Hand. Sleight of Hand helps you out quite a bit, because the Olympia only has two... Uh, shotgun shells it takes longer to reload uh, or uh, I shouldn't say shouldn't say takes longer to reload it takes uh, less time for the bullets to be gone it's only got two bullets is what I'm trying to say I'm just not conveying that message very well and because it's only got the two uh, sleight of hand really helps out to try and keep yourself out of those tight situations the Olympia has the longest range of all the shotguns Meaning, uh, you'll hit things that are farther away. Not, I'm not talking about the damage lost over distance. I'm talking about the actual bullet range. And the way shotguns work is it fires eight bucks or eight. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was right. It fires basically eight pellets, eight bullets, whatever the hell you want to call them. And the bullets usually do between 40 damage up close and 10 da 10 damage at a distance. So if you're lucky, even at you know a long distance you'll uh, still have to fire a second shot. So that's where, uh, especially with these, uh, um, the HS-10s I actually have not used. Might actually try them tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, the Spaz is probably my favorite. The difference between all the shotguns and probably the one that's the best is the Spaz. Overall, the Spaz is the best in my personal opinion. Uh, the Stakeout, sorry about the SH, it's just Stakeout. The stakeout only has four bullets. It is pump pump action, but the the greater advantage over that, or that the uh, strikeout stakeout has its uh, it has a tighter uh, hip fire radius. So basically, it's more concentrated when you hip fire. Uh, it's pretty much the biggest thing it has going for it, but I wouldn't call it too much of an advantage over say the Spaz 12 which can fire really fast uh, for a shotgun over the pump action of the stakeout. So per uh, so personally I would rather use the Spaz any day of the week. Might mess around with the HS10s uh, tomorrow or you know whatever. Hanoi is a very good map for shotguns. Um, the thing if you want to use shotguns you really need to you need to use it on a good map. Not saying that you can't do good with the shotguns on any map. I'm just saying there are certain maps that I don't want to say are tailored for shotguns, but have an overall better success rate uh, or effective. You know, it's a little bit more effective for some maps. You know, so things like firing range is good. Hanoi is really good. Um, just to name a few, Berlin Walls pretty good. You gotta you gotta stick towards a you know certain part of the maps. Um, I forgot to mention this. My kill streak is actually attack chopper, blackbird, and attack dogs. So uh, I've started to kind of like the uh, attack chopper over, you know, other kill streaks, or prefer uh, mainly the uh, chopper gunner and the gunship. Mostly because while the uh, chopper gunner, not chopper gunner, while the attack chopper is up, uh, you can still go around and get kills. Uh, you know, you, you kind of still have to keep the good game going when it, when it comes to kill-death ratio. Because while you're up in the chopper, you can't die more than once. But if you have an attack chopper up, 
you know, you can die plenty of times. And that was a pretty nice kill feed right there, but I wasn't able to get that fourth guy, which would be pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. But, um, let's see, how much time we got left? I don't even know. It's at 52 kills. I think we got a minute or so left. Um, the thing you really want to do, though, is hug the walls. Uh, you want to use cover. Very important that you use cover. Um, and I had something... Uh, you can also, um, push towards respawn, too. That's basically what I've been doing in... And, you know, having a UAV and especially Blackbird helps out a lot, because you'll know where they'll, where they'll be spawning. And you can basically be waiting around the wall for them. And, uh, kind of like what I was trying to do. Uh, pretty soon here, I think I get my... Do I even call him my attack chopper? Okay. I was going to say, I had a match earlier where, literally, right as I was pulling the trigger, it's like, enemy chopper gunner coming in, or hide, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, another thing um, that's actually really nice about the shotguns, uh, from my understanding, was a recent update that they did. Um, if you shoot somebody with a shotgun and they have second chance, second chance does not work. So if you really want to screw somebody over, and a lot of the other team is using second chance, take out a shotgun and kick their ass. Um, personally, I think second chance is a waste of a perk, for one. It's a bitch perk for two, and it's so annoying for three. I used to call it, uh, here have a, an assist, but that's kind of changed. Well, anyway, that's the game. I think I go 27 and 3. I want to thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Enjoy this dog humping this dude or killing him or something like that. Peace. It's funny because those the dogs are bigger than the people. Those are dogs on steroids.